TT Meets TT, Episode 12, Part 1, Alex's Noggy 225. Hi all, Andy here, and welcome to Episode 12A of TT Meets TT. Episode 12A because it's the first part in a two-part series, and it also allows me to avoid Episode 13. What ties these two episodes together nicely is this is the first car of a pair of cars we know as the twins. Now, they're not identical, these cars, but they have an awful lot of similarity. First up this week is Alex with his Noggy 225. I first met Alex at one of Dom's Saturday breakfast meets, but we ran out of time to chat, so instead I invited Alex down to my house and we recorded this episode in my back garden, which is also the home of Springfest, which we're holding later in July. Don't forget to check out some of the previous episodes in the series of TT Meets TT, but first let's get on with looking at Alex's car. I'm here today with Alex and I'm here with his fabulous Negaro Blue 225. So Alex, how long have you owned the car for? Uh, about nine and a half years. Wow, so how many owners has it had? I know I'm the sixth owner. Okay, but you said that it'd been owned by someone before that for a period of time, so you know some most of the history behind the car. Yeah, the history of the car, my friend had it bought in 2008, had it for five years and then I purchased it off of him. He paid quite a hefty price, I think. For it and i think i got it quite a bargain i mean when i first came to the meet at hemel hempstead that dom organized this was one car that i remember that really shone out this one and neil's green goodwood car they really shone out to me because they're quite similar to look at but they've also got what i class as some cracking modifications to them one of the really nice features on alex's car are the wing mirrors and he's had them i thought they were carbon wrapped but what did you have done some what um, have you had I actually got them carbon skimmed, gone through a process of lacquer. Okay, so that's carbon skimming, and those mirrors, they feel, they feel amazing. Because yeah. you, you, you can still feel a bit the carbon, carbon farm, can't you? But it's also got like the lacquer over the top. Yeah, those were done by JW Carbon, who also done the fuel filler cap. JW Carbon, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so if you're looking for your car, or any of your bits to be carbon wrapped or carbon skimmed, JW Carbon. So can you talk us through some of the other modifications you've done to the car? Okay, um, well first I started with the handling because I'll be honest with you I'm a bit of a spirited driver and the original TT handling was a bit understeery. Yeah. So I went for the Bilstein B14's coilovers, H&R roll bars, full front and back Super Pro bushes, uh, adjustable Super Pro uh, drop links and I think that's about it. Well I had the um, perfect touch performance down in Seward Stone Road, Jinkford do that um, because I just heard good stuff about them and uh, Gabby I think his name is done the setup on this and it's just perfect. I think they dropped it on the um, coilover suspension I think by 40 mils, 40 millimeters. So it's quite low. Um, but yeah, it just, just handles really, really well, uh, especially with the DEFCON bushes installed as well. It's just, it's hardly any understeer now. Yeah. So these wheels, to go with that suspension, they've also got the um, diamond cut finish and they've also got the inserts that have been colour coded. Now that's not the colours of the car, is it? But they no. have been colour changed. It's almost like a gun metal. Is it? What colour would you uh, call anthracite that? Anthracite grey. Anthracite grey. Yeah. Oh, I know that colour. because I've got some bits over there. <laughs> that anthracite grey. So. so inside, so you've got the standard 225 seats from what I can see. Yep. Much modification to the inside. Yeah, originally the interior was silver nappa leather. Oh, was it? So you've um, changed the colour. Yeah, which has been, I'd say in the past year, year and a half that's been done. I actually just completed door cards before Simply Audi. Okay. Because uh, I still had this, the, the silver ones. But that was a bit of a nightmare. So to put all the Bose speakers in there because they were non Bose. Oh, right. Bose speaker grills, which was a nightmare. And I also got, um, but these are not real carbon fiber, but I got them carbon dips. Okay. Um, shout out to Dom from Parrot Bros because I broke, I think I broke the clip that holds the electric switches. <laughs> oh, no. And he uh, came to the save and saved me on that one. Yeah, I think um, if you want to know anything about the TT, Dom is definitely your first port of call. So definitely big shout out to Dom and his great channel. You kept your back seat, so you don't have the rear seat deleting this I one. I don't yet. 
I've put them in there because I haven't gotten around to even purchasing um, a rear seat delete. Okay. Obviously, I would like an original one from a Quattro Sport. Yeah. But, uh, they're quite rare. Indeed. Uh, they don't come up too often, and when they do, they're ridiculous. Now, I see that you've got your filler cap there, so you've also colour coded your bolts. So, yeah. are they Nagaro blue bolts? No, they're not Nagaro they're blue. They're very similar, though. <laughs> they look very similar. I found them on eBay, actually. They do them in a few colours. I think Cookbox sells those as well, uh, CB Auto. Also, I remember this number plate. I think I pointed this out at Simply Audi. That made me chuckle when I saw that. What a great number plate. Perfect for this car. Yeah, that was a recent purchase as well. <laughs> and it's also got, from what I can see, it's got the 3.2 rear diffuser. Yeah, that was a gift from yours truly, Mr. Neil. Oh, All right. There, with the Goodwood green one. Uh, he had it spare when he had it on previously and I think when we was do working on his interior he brought that round and he fitted that on for me straight away while I was nice. working on his uh, Quattro Sport yeah. interior. So you two really help each other out with all yeah. your work then that's yeah, great. Yeah we do. I'm, I mean he even helped me fit the front bumper. Uh, we've done that together on this because I've got the 3-2 front. Uh, so yeah we've had we've had advent adventures me and Neil. Fabulous. <laughs> yeah it always seems to be you, you travel in tandem which is great because yeah. um it's always good to have a fellow TT for when you're in your hour of need. Uh, yeah. we, we've done our we've done our cars as a pair. Like yeah, an odd pair, but they're kind very of similar. Matching. It's good because you've got some real overlap, yeah. but you've also got some real unique features as well, which I think is great. So you said your paintwork, you weren't overly impressed with your paintwork. No, it's, I mean it's showing its age. I mean my friend who had the car for five years, um, someone vandalised the car and he had done an insurance job obviously and they redone the car but i think the body shop that done it was a bit pants okay uh, because i'm i've started to it's starting to you know show its age yeah um the damage that you see on the bonnet yeah do not guys put a car cover on your car there you go you've heard it yeah. from the man himself do not put a car cover on your car i had the car cover on this car for a year and a half two years while i was out in the states and that's what wind and rain and a flappy car cover does. Yeah. If you are going to buy a car cover, get one that's bespoke for the TT that fits like a glove yeah. that goes over the wind. So mirrors. this was like abrasion that's done this, yeah. but from the from the actual yeah. car cover wrapping around. Okay. Yeah. The one thing I have noticed on your car, which I'd not spotted this before, yeah. is the fleck in your uh, grill. All oh, right. Or yeah. is or is that just been? Is it a case of it's the original grill and it's just been lacquered? Is it? No, that's actually is that um, paint? that's a specific paint. That's Audi Panther Black. All oh, right, which is metallic. Now I'm not sure if that's going to be picked up on the camera. I hope it is because it's. So I've not noticed that before. Yeah. It's where the sun's catching it. It's got really, cool, it's really cool effect. That the speckles in it, and I believe it or not, I think the Quattro Sports actually do come painted Audi Panther Black. Do they? Okay. I'm I'm not 100 percent sure. So on your that. rings are like a a matte finish, aren't they as well? Yes. So, uh, I think satin, satin black. Okay, and they're original rings, or they've just been refinished? And they're, yeah, they've just been refinished in okay. satin black. Under the bonnet, much done? Yeah. Let's yeah. have a look under there. All stage well, two. I say, is there bottom. much done? I know exactly from seeing under your bonnet, there's lots of great <laughs> stuff under there. So Love this. Cool. All the shiny bits on it. Just a bit OEM plus. Yeah. What I love about it is that these, um, the hoses you've got are almost like Nagaro blue hoses yes. as well. <laughs> they're a real close match. So you've also got the heat shield done in carbon, slightly different to Neil's, but the same principle behind it. That's actually full carbon. Is it? That's full yeah, carbon? Yeah, all the way through, not, not skimmed. That's actually quite a rare item. I didn't know that okay. until I purchased off a friend who had it in his S3. Um, and I actually got it a bargain, believe it or not. And your tip, that's a, that, that that's we're saying the, is an Agaro blue tip. Well, so yeah. what, what make is that tip? Do that's you know? the Badger 5. That is the Badger 5 yeah, one, yeah, okay. That's the, I think the version 3. So it's quite beefy. I mean, it sounds beefy. I've got the forged diverter valve, uh, the forged motorsport, um, debaffled boost. Okay, so that charge pipe is, yeah. the, that's the forged one, is it? Yeah, debaffled. Okay. Because I wanted a bit of noise. Yeah. Uh, and I've got the forged front mount intercooler, which yeah. you might see. So I'm, let's see if I can get that through the grill, because yeah, that's, right. um, that is, so that's the forged one, yeah? Yeah. So I don't, I can't, oh, I can just about see that through there. So obviously Carl Chris has gone for the gravity route on here. So he's got a gravity intercooler yeah. near the gravity charge pipe that kept popping off, but okay. he wants to change to forge. So he'd probably be interested so to have a chat with you, I think, yeah. over that. 
Tell him to get the track slag one. Track slab. Yeah, okay. track slag because it oh, goes. Track slag, yeah. yeah, it gets rid of the um, the deep baffles. Yeah, it, it gets rid of this. You know the elbow. Okay. The rubber elbow. It goes straight. It's all metal all the way straight right. to the turbo. Okay. So that might work out better for him. Porsche caps again? No, that's an Audi R8 one. Oh, is it? That's the R8 cap. Yeah. I, I, the reason why I bought that because I got that quite cheap at um, is it GTI International show mm -hmm. uh, 2015. I think me and Neil went. And it had like a few items on sale, and I, I, that's why I grabbed it. It's great. It's lovely condition as well. <coughs> All the plastic looks great under here. That's and great. I've also got something that is quite rare. I've got the Ozia, um tinted indicator lenses. They're very, I don't think Aussie even make them anymore. And I had a guy refurb my headlights. I think he works for Awesome GTI in right. Manchester. And he refurbed my headlights, just the internals. I still need to get the lenses done. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was even considering getting the uh, inserts done in carbon fiber, yeah, carbon that fiber look, skin. That would look cool, yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still, I don't know, I'm not sure. I think the car needs a bit of contrast. So. Yeah. Pilot Sport 4s, 5s, on around. Oh, no, fours. these are Pilot Super Sports. So, Super Sports, yeah. okay. Nice rim protector on them as well. Yeah. Keep those lovely alloys safe really grippy i mean i've driven a couple cars with the fours yep i do like the fours i just prefer the four s's and these are the before the four s's they still make them i just think they're really soft and really grippy again i like spirited driving and cornering so Absolutely. they do help out i'm sure you'll agree that this is a fabulous example of the Nagaro blue 225 and i want to thank alex for bringing this car down to show me today no worries. again we're in the home of spring fest which will be held in july alex is going to be here along with neil and many others so if you too would like to come along to spring fest then please do drop me an email at the address on screen now so we're going to enjoy the sun now and we'll see you soon Alex, thanks once again for bringing the car down. It really has some fantastic features, and of course, it is a noggy. So, of my personal favourite touches on Alex's car are those wheels and, of course, the carbon features. So, if you too would like to feature your car on TT Meets TT, then please do drop me an email at the address on screen now. If you like what you've seen today, then please do give this video a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel where you'll find a whole host of Audi TT Mark 1 content. As always, thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care.